couch Dogs need the lessons Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle lesson right here on Lickin' Riff, in which you'll learn how to play a simple yet powerful flamenco rhythm. Okay, you don't have to play anything fancy with it, just the four chord flamenco progression, A minor, G, uh, G F, and E major. Okay, just A minor, G, F, and E major, and the rhythm pattern itself makes it shine. It goes like this, it has two variations. The first variation is this. is a little bit more rhythmical. It's got a little more groove to it, but both variations are good. Sounds like this. Right? Right? Um, you can play this in several different ways as well, but uh, let's play the first one. Okay, A minor, bar on five, E minor shape. Now you play the sixth string, and then immediately you arpeggiate strings three, two, and one, okay, as a pick strum. Okay, I like to call it a pick strum because you pick it, but it sounds like a strum, okay, very quickly, okay, as a triplet. And immediately after the triplet, okay, immediately afterwards, you play the D string with your thumb, okay, so you get dum da da dum, okay, so, okay, that's the rhythm. Uh, that's the pattern, right? And then you have just strings uh, three, two, one. Right? So the the key to it is the okay that rhythm, okay? Strings three, two, one, four, okay? The triplet and then the D string immediately. Okay, so bass, triplet, D string. Okay. After you do this, arpeggiating strings three, two, and one is a breeze. So, okay. so basically, um, I gave you a concept, okay? The rhythm here is the bass, and then you have a triplet, and then you have a full arpeggio, okay? But if I would have shown you uh, this, then connecting the triplet and the arpeggio, would have been uh, more demanding. And that's how you should approach music. You should approach it with the right concept in mind. So the key here is not a triplet and then an arpeggio. It's not okay, a triplet and then an arpeggio. It's the triplet and then the D string. If you, uh, you find yourself in a little bit of trouble getting used to it, just practice this, okay? Just strings three, two, one, and then the D string with your thumb, okay? Okay, practice that, because that's the key to everything. Okay, and after you practice that, <clears throat> okay, add the rest of it. So bass, triplet, and the D string, and then strings three, two, one, as an arpeggio, right? So that's the full rhythm pattern. is this okay so you do the same thing okay up to the D string and then instead of an arpeggio you play strings three two and one together and then you play the sixth string and then you play the chord again strings one two and three so okay you can play the D string and the chord twice I think it's a bit more powerful to play the sixth string the second time around You can vary it on this, as I did earlier. Well, I've, I've become hoarse. Okay, so uh, forgive me if I, <clears throat> you know, clear my throat. Okay, so practice that. Okay, you can add the D string if you're used to this. You can add the D string to the arpeggio to that to the triplet. Okay, and then play the D string again. Okay, so. It's four notes instead of three, okay? But 
You don't have to. Okay? You don't have to. Um, I prefer okay, the thin version, just strings 3, 2, and 1, and then the D string. Okay? But just know that it's possible. Right, so you have this. Okay? You can play uh, the third string by itself instead of the chord. Okay? Or the first. Or the second. Okay? And you can play strings one and two. Okay? Um, as the chord. Okay? Instead of playing okay, the whole chord and then the bass and then the chord, you can play a single string. Okay? The second string, the third, the first. You can vary it on this. Each chord, different string. Not oh, sorry. Okay, strings two and three. And you can just finish with bass chord, bass chord. create an answer to the motif, uh, to not play the same thing all the time. So uh, that's the flamenco rhythm and again I think this is actually preferable to the groovy one. Okay, now um, the last variation, you can, um, instead of the chord, as I said, you can play the third string. Um, but the second time you can open the strings. Okay? And then you get a sort of a G chord. Okay, now if you open the strings, play strings two, three, and four. Okay? Okay, and then you get a G chord in between. So okay? so it fits. If you play the E string, not so much because you get an E minor chord. See, it works if you play strings two and three or two, three, and four. Okay? And that's uh, just another tip. All right, so uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There are hundreds of free lessons already waiting for you. And I will see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.